you guys saw our laundry video with the comfy uh, washer and dryer, the top loader. And I told you I couldn't speak for its quality because, you know, it's an Amazon product or whatever. It actually is a really nice washer. However, we did laundry for the first time and we decided that we were going to go in a different direction, which unfortunately meant more money for us. But I think in the long run, it's going to be a lot better. So we just took the comfy out. That's what we got. They're Mila's and they're gonna fit in that little space that we have. But what was so nice about the Mila washer and dryer was, you're gonna have to help me, remind me. So the Mila washer is a 2.3 cubic square foot washing machine. And the salesman said that on average, it'll use three and a half to four and a half gallons of water uh, for the load. Now compared to the top load, it was filling up that whole basin and then agitating the clothes in there. With this being a front load washer, it uses much, much less water. So we noticed our, unfortunately, our tank over here doesn't go into the gray tank into the kitchen like I thought it does. Our washer dumps into our black tank in our half bath. Which is bad because and you want a smaller tank. You want to have room, you know, to use the bathroom. So if all the water's dumping into black, that's not good. And and it's a smaller tank, so it was filling much faster than the other tanks. So um, even with this huge uh, fifth wheel that we have, the tanks are still filling up really, really fast. I think the other washing machine probably put in about 12 gallons per load um, for our, our wash, and it was just insanely fast. One load and our sensors went from empty to uh, two thirds full in uh, well, a third full. Um, so this one, hopefully uh, it's a stack washer. We measured just underneath the, the stereo deck there um, is about 76 inches. These two washers are 24 by 24 by 33 tall. So stacked on top of each other, they're uh, 66 inches. So we'll have a little bit of room the really, really nice thing about this uh, dryer is the dryer is a heat pump and it is ventless. So they can either, it has a tube in the back that you can drain or it's got this little tank here. Oh. And that's where all the water goes into. But it also has a drain line. So instead of filling this tank, if you have a drain available, you can just drain it directly in. And uh, the salesman said that you'll, out of the dryer, it'll be less than a gallon, um, maybe a half a gallon of water per load for drying, because this does such a good job of spinning out the clothes and getting them dry in the first place. I didn't know it had that little feature. I didn't I didn't go in the store uh, the second time we looked at these, so that, that was new to me that it did that. But it's cool that it, it's, it is eventless because, you know, Unless you're drilling holes in your rig, where are you venting to, you know? And I know some people in their RVs do a vent into the bathroom and then have the bathroom fan suck it out. But we didn't, we really didn't want to mess with that. So um, the yeah. Comfy washer was a 1.6 cubic um, feet and it held like 11 pounds of laundry, as they said. But 12 gallons of water compared to three, that's kind of a lot. And the other thing about this dryer and the washer set is they're both 110 and that was really really hard for us to find a dryer that does a good job of drying your clothes that's 110 um, so 110 and 110 and they said that they'll peak at about 15 amps per unit so we might still only be able to do 15 amps on the washing machine stop the washing machine put a load in the dryer start the dryer run 15 amps on the dryer because we don't have a dedicated circuit. That might be another project down the road where I'll come in and, and wire in a dedicated circuit for the washer and a dedicated circuit for the dryer another day. For now, if we have to load one, one load in the washer, turn the washer off, run a load in the dryer, that's a pretty, I'll, I'll gladly take that sacrifice over not being able to dry the clothes for six or eight hours. This one, it takes about an hour to do a load in the wash and then an hour and a half to dry um, instead of the all-in-one units they said 
only do a half load and even with a half load you're looking at four hours and so four to I mean, six and you're wasting more water and these ones they said uh the washer is 2.3 cubic square feet the dryer is 4.1 cubic square feet so they made it bigger intentionally so that the, the clothes have enough room to tumble so that you can take a full load out of the wash and put a full load into the dryer and the dryer will still do a good job of drying it and it uh, is a residential instead of being a um, RV one. You know, the RV one is the Splendid and it was the combo, but yeah, four to six hours for a half load. And we're not, we weren't opposed to line drying. Like we had a hookup from here to here for the line drive and we were okay with that. And it just having this whole back center, you know, full of clothes. But when it came to towels, Nothing sucks worse than air dried towels, guys. It's doing its first official test wash where they said, don't put any clothes in it, let it run. And then we'll see how much it fills the tank or not. But I'm really excited for this unit. Okay, so we've had a chance to get everything in the trailer and we've had a chance to run it. And guys, I am telling you, I am absolutely in love with this washer and dryer. They did so good. Uh, one of the things that we were thinking was going to be an issue with these is uh, the, the salesman told us that it will max out at about 15 amps. And we ran both at the same time to test and see. Uh, I think we were running one AC and the washer and the dryer and we peaked out at like 27 amps total for all the usage in the trailer. So that's lights and an AC and the washer and the dryer. And the washer and dryer are on the same plug. And, and we had music going too. And we had music going and it took it no problem. And there might be a, a circumstance where the washer and dryer are at their peak together and that might trip uh, a circuit, but um, just in our test run that didn't happen. So, um, one of the things that I do really, really like about this dryer in particular is because this dryer has, um, is a heat pump, you can see in here, this is the little filter, and then you see that little coil in there. That coil is like a refrigerator coil for, um, the heat pump. And so it's got a hot side and a cold side, and it blows the air through there. As it goes over one side, it heats up the air, and as it comes back around, it cools down the air. And when it cools down the air, that's what causes the moisture to shed out. And then it goes down into a pump, and it pumps it up into this tank. So what we just did is we just did these towels. So this was about three quarters of a load. Um, and I mean, that's quite a few towels for a smaller uh, washer and dryer. And uh, the thing about towels is they retain the most moisture out of any other set of clothes that you can do. Maybe denims would be about the same, but towels, they soak in a huge amount of moisture and it's really, really hard to spin them out. So even after the washing machine went through its spin cycle, we put it in the dryer, we let it dry out. This is crazy, you guys. It dried them. They are super, super dry. Because like I said, line drying towels sucks it's the worst so just having a dryer in general that didn't take four to six hours in a combo washer and dryer was like amazing because this was about an hour yeah so this this, this took an hour, was about an hour and this took an hour and it was totally done Chaos. and it automatically recognized and went oh i don't need an hour and a half and it adjusted itself but yeah look at what it did this is insane look at how much water this pulled out of these towels in one hour. I don't know if you can see that sloshing around in there or not, but yeah, you can see it. That's all crazy. Of that came out of those towels in one hour. And what a perfect fix for an RV to not have it be a vent, uh, vented situation. We can just take that, and because it pulls from fresh water, we can take that little thing out and dump it, and it's not polluting things. You know? Right. Yeah, it's, it's totally clean, fresh water that's just pulled out of the, the clothes. So you you don't even have to dump that in any of your tanks. It's the same as dumping drinking water. Um, and again, this 
dryer because it's 110 and not 220 and because it's a heat pump this dryer uses 60 percent less energy than a normal 220 dryer would and so we've got this awesome setup great washing machine great dryer they're using super low amounts of energy they're really really uh, efficient and they really cleaned the clothes and the clothes come out dry so total cycle time on a full load um, if you can get a shot in here that drum doesn't look giant but it is pretty big and those honeycomb patterns in there are designed to um, prevent the clothes from sticking to the sidewall so that it will tumble correctly so we filled this about th uh, three quarters full on the last load and then because the dryer is so much bigger I mean, look at this. This There's is like... There's tons of room in there. Yeah, that's like less, uh, maybe o almost a half a load in the dryer. But because the dryer is so much bigger, it allows those clothes to really fluff through and tumble. And uh, and that's why they paired the two together. Will you open the lint for us? Um, the thing with the combo is that when you have the combo washer and dryer, all of your lint is going into your tanks. You know, that wasn't something that I had considered or thought about. And this is a super fine mesh, so it really catches just about everything. So that was that was nice to have them be separated, too. So a couple of things that I personally have really loved about them was, one, they're very, very quiet. Uh, two, the whole trailer doesn't feel like it's in, in an earthquake when it spins. Um, that I was surprised at how stable everything felt. And we don't have stabilizer blocks yet. It just felt really stable. Um, and it, it was quick. It smells good. This is kind of a cool little feature too. This is a little, um, air freshener scent pack that Mila has. And so as it activates, you can turn the scent up or down depending on what you want. Um, and then, uh, that will add more scent into the dryer. Um, and it's a very, it's a very nice scent. You can buy those. I think there's different smells that you can get from Mila, but I really, really But, like and you them. don't have to use them either. No, though. you don't so. have to. You can take this out and then there's a, a little, um, face covering that covers over this hole if you're not using it. But really cool design. I really like this washer and dryer. And everybody, when we were looking at buying an RV said this, uh, a washer and dryer for an RV is stupid. Don't even bother with it. Don't invest in it. They don't work. They're crap. And these work really, really well. We start it. The dryer? Yeah, I close it and start it up. So another cool feature, their touch, touch screen. So that's neat. And then... Um, Depending on what cycle it has, it will... So Delicates, it's turning on a gentle cycle that will... It will um, dry it slower and tumble it slower so that it doesn't ruin any of your clothes. So depending on what settings you have, it has all of these extra settings. Time dryer, um, bed linens proofing outdoors pants denim so if you really really needed to get towels or something i would put it on denim um, but it we've just been on putting it on normal extra and then put it on extra dry yeah and it's this still... is so quiet you guys that's it yeah that's not bad so if you have the space like a toy hauler like we do, this was a perfect um, option over the other one. Like, Might be a little heavy for those of you that have the closet style. Um, because this And a thing, little it, big too, I think, it, just a touch. It really is heavy. I think the bottom unit was like 250 pounds for the, for the washing machine. I think it's about 150 for the dryer. But we were, we're, we're not hauling much in the way of gear, so we were willing to take that extra weight for the convenience of being able to have a washer dryer set. And one of the um, other things about it is, so the Splendid combo one was about, what, six, 1600 So they, they had a combo one, and we were just at our RV dealer, and uh, I saw that they had a Splendid washer, with a Splendid dryer 
and they were advertising it at $2,800 installed. And this was, for us, we got it on a good sale, but for us, this was $2,000. So to have like $800 cheaper, have it be a residential with more full-size capacity than the Splendid did, plus it being ventless, plus Mila already has tons of eco features, which is super important to myself. Um, after a while, these little things, they'll shut off and it, it'll still be going but if you want to know how much time you have, you just tap it. That way it's not zapping out all your energy. And this is a really good high quality brand. Yeah, Mila it's very high end. It's designed to last. And so when, when you're looking at something like an LG combo or a Splendid or the Comfy, those are only going to last you six, eight, ten years. Ten years maybe at the, at the outreach. These are designed to last you up into 15, 20, 25 years. So if you're planning on doing this full time and planning on using it a lot, or if you're in an apartment and this is something that you want to see in your apartment because you don't have access to a normal washer dryer setup, this is uh, something that's going to last for a really long time. Yeah, it's definitely worth the investment, I think. Because also if you go to laundry mats, you're spending what, $2 a load And if you want to get it done in any time, if you go out with a full week's worth of laundry, you might be doing multiple uh, washer know, and dryers. Load in this one, a load in this one, a load in this one, just to get everything done in a, in a reasonable time. I mean, you could be spending $15, $20 at a laundromat at $2 for the wash and two fifty for a dryer. And, and then, then times that hours. how many times you do it a month, you're still, you're looking at what, $600 easy sometimes, you know, depending on the washer and dryer. And yeah, if you're full timing, I think this is a great option and we're really excited to bite the bullet and have it because I think it's I think it's worth the investment. A worthy investment because we talked about how it the comfy was filling up our sensors and stuff because it was overloading our um, black tank. Well, we've done five loads. Five loads of laundry now, and we we're are at, we're two thirds full. We haven't quite hit that. that so two thirds full on five loads of laundry, where the comfy took two thirds full with one load of laundry. Yeah. If that doesn't tell you. That, that yeah I don't know what to find and I, I think that it, it's probably more like a two to five so that, that we got two loads out of the comfy for water usage where we've used the same amount of water through five loads with the Mila yeah that's awesome so uh, we are a 10 out of 10 with this we highly recommend two thumbs up all the things would buy again absolutely yeah <laughs> buy. We're, we're a fan of these ones buy these ones okay so in with Mila can you hear the purr? That's the sound that the compressor makes. Kind of like a mini fridge. That's as loud as it gets. And I talked about the screen shutting off. That's what it looks like. Oh, come here. Oh, there it is. And then after a few minutes, it'll turn that off again. That way it's not there all the time. I like the noise it makes when it's done. It's like R2-D2. Isn't that happy?